Hi everyone, this is Adam with Adam Goldberg Photography and I'm coming to you today with another real estate tutorial. This time we're going to be focusing on how to get rid of some of that color cast on our ceilings. So let's get ahead and get things started. So I have my image here in Photoshop already, just the background layer. And up in the right hand corner especially we have this yellow and orange glow look to the ceiling and that's coming from those lights as well as from the wood floor. It's not an overly natural look so it's something that I like to get rid of in a lot of my photos. Over here you can see there's a little bit of blue and green, not a lot in this image, but a lot of times in spring and summer especially when you have green leaves, um, nice bright sunny days, a lot of times you'll get some green um, color cast kind of coming in from the windows. So if you have a white ceiling this is definitely a good method to use to quickly get rid of all of that color cast no matter what color it is. So again, we have our background image and I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of it. My keyboard shortcut for that and in all of Photoshop is Command J. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. So again, Command J. We've now duplicated a layer. So that way we're not working off our background image. We are now working off of a layer that if we make some mistakes on, no worries, we can just delete it and go ahead and start things over. So we have our layer and I'm going to swing over here to the left hand side because this is where my quick selection tool is and so there you can see the quick selection tool so we're going to select that and then up here at the top of the screen I'll make this a little bit bigger so that way it's easier to see we're just going to go ahead and slide across and as you can see from our little marching ants it's done a really nice job of selecting the ceiling got a little bit here but that's okay that's something that we can have be white as well and all we're going to do now that we have our image and our selection made from our quick selection tool is go down here to add a layer mask. So we're going to click add a layer mask. So now that we have our layer mask, we're ready to go ahead and get rid of that color cast. If you go above your layers, you'll see an adjustment panel and we're going to find the one that says black and white. And all we're going to do is click on the layer. And all this has done is create a black and white layer. And as you see, it's taken all of the color out of the image, something that we don't want. We just wanted this to impact the ceiling. Not a problem. If we kind of move our mouse and our hand right here, right in between the black and white layer and the layer that we've been working with, if we click the option, you'll notice how this little square with a down arrow comes up. And all this is doing is saying, let's just apply this black and white layer to the layer right below it, which is layer one, in this case, the one that has our ceiling selected. And so if, while we're holding the option button, if we click our mouse, we've now just selected that layer. So we got all the color back except in the ceiling. And you know that it's now kind of applied to the layer just below because you can see this little arrow down right here. Now, in some cases, it might make things a little bit too white and look unnatural. That's not a problem. You have your opacity right here that you can adjust. So we have it at 100% right now. If we take it down maybe to, say, 70%, we'll get things to look maybe just a little bit more natural and not be quite so white. It's really a personal preference up to you, but again, something that you know is there that you can kind of play with by adjusting that opacity of this black and white layer. So now that we have that, I want to just again show you the difference here. So this is with the layer turned off. You can see all of this yellow and orange color cast. And then we click on the layer and now we have a nice white ceiling. Looks much cleaner, a better image to deliver to your clients. So this again is a great little tool that you can use to quickly and easily get rid of some of that color cast on your ceilings. So that way you're delivering better images for your clients. Again, this was Adam with Adam Goldberg Photography. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, please click subscribe and hopefully more videos will be coming here that'll help you take better images. Thanks so much.